Cuba was a whole different beast. We got to Cuba during Carnival, and it was one big party. We, we arrived, you know, and, and based on my childhood, my education, my reading of the media, I expected to get off the plane in Havana and, and have there be soldiers with AK-47s lined up to pull people out of line and, you know, check things out, see what's going on. We got off the plane, and it might as well have been, I understand you have a fairly small airport here, right? I mean, they rolled the stairs up to this plane, and we walked out. There's nobody. And the, the host of the stewardess on the, on the plane said, that way, into the terminal. And you just walk in. They didn't check a single piece of luggage. They stamped our visas, which were separate from our passports. They weren't glued in like the ones in Ghana were. They stamp it and keep it. And it's like, why aren't you stamping our passports? We don't do that for Americans. We don't want you to get into trouble. And, and then we're on our way. They didn't check a single bag. And we had a ton of equipment with, you know, long silver pieces of pipe and, and stuff. And, and they didn't check a single thing. Just waved us right through. We go and get on the tour bus, which is what we're going to be living on for the eight days that we're here. And our tour guide, Raul, begins to speak to us and, and speaks English, which not many people in Cuba do. And, and, and then the amazing thing, he says, when you get to the hotel, put your identification and any valuables in the safe and leave it there. You don't need identification. The hotel will give you a, a little card that tells what hotel you're staying at so that if you get lost, the taxi driver can get you back home okay. Have a great time. And he, he, he also explained, if you want to really have a good time, um, go out to the, the discos and the bars after 10 o'clock at night. That's when Fidel goes to sleep and the real parties begin. And he was right. We went into the Las Vegas discotheque, and they had a seven-piece band playing till 2, 3 in the morning with dancing girls with huge feathers, you know, out the tops of their heads. And we discovered the mojito, <laughs> which I had never heard of before. And I have never had one since that is as good. They just don't put the right ingredients in them in this country. And uh, every place we went for lunch, for dinner, had music, live music. They might be dancers. They might be two people you know, with a guitar and, and singing. Or it might be a full five, six piece band. Music everywhere. Every single band did sing Guantanamera. That was one of the requirements. But it was just this incredibly fun, light thing. We still met with historians. We learned about the Santeria religion, which is when primarily the Yoruba people from West Africa were brought over and you know the religion is stripped away from the African people. Um, these folks took on Catholicism, which is what the Spanish um, required them to honor, but they gave their African deities the Catholic names. So combined the two. So all the plantation owners thought they were being good Catholics. Meanwhile, these people are just using, you know, Saint whatever to talk about their own deities back in Africa. And that became the Santeria religion. And, uh, and so we, we did a lot of study. We had our conversations. We did our work. But it was just, just a, whole lot, a whole lot lighter. And we looked for um, plantations. Our family owned um, five plantations in Cuba. As late as the 1850s, and we believe maybe up into the 1870s, we found one map that indicated that. And um, sugar and uh, tobacco plantations. And it was the sugar that would then be made into molasses, taken to Rhode Island, to be made into rum at the family distillery, to be taken to West Africa, to be traded for um, African people, to be brought back to the plantations to work making more sugar. And if they weren't needed there, they might be sold in, in Charleston or somewhere else in North and South America or elsewhere in the West Indies. But that was the, the triangle trade for North America.